Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Okay. How does it feel to be playing this new Transformer? The, you know, no, this is, no one's ever seen it before. This Transformer was born in Earth. So what was it like playing Thrash? It's been an incredible honor, a huge blessing. Like, uh, I am a giant fan of this franchise and like never in a million years would I have imagined that I would be voicing a Transformer, let alone like a brand new one. Um, and it gives me a lot of room to sort of make it my own and like put my stamp on it and and that's an incredible honor so I'm having a lot of fun yes, now oh. no no that's it I'm yes, okay so with you you know making it your own what what approach did you want to take for this new transformer uh, when I auditioned they had kind of outlined a little bit of his like personality you know he's kind of all like uh, 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 kind of rambunctious he's kind of a rebel a little bit of a wild card and uh, even with the initial audition I sort of just kind of had fun and I sort of made it my own, and you know, now that I'm really comfortable within the role, within the role, I, I I add my own spin on a lot of lines. I I really really have fun with the character. I I think he's like a jokester, and he's very goofy and humorous and funny, and I really really try to lean into that. And I think he's just all about like being free and being wild and having fun. I love that. Now, were you always a fan of the Transformers franchise? Yes, absolutely. I've been a fan for years. I, I watched a lot of the old cartoons. Uh, I watched all the movies. The movies really actually inspired me to like, uh, uh, for an, from an acting standpoint. Like, I always wanted to be in like a Transformers movie, like you know, uh, running from giant Decepticons. You know, so this is uh, this is an incredible blessing uh, that to be a part of it now. I love that. So, with you already being a fan, how do you think this new story being told of Transformers being born? On Earth. How do you think that's going to change the game for the franchise? I think it adds an, a new element. A lot of the Transformers uh, canon has been deeply rooted in Earth um, and how these robots have to sort of adapt to Earth. But now it's like, uh, you know, they're from another planet, so they have their own, they bring their own stuff to Earth. Yeah. But the Terrans, they don't do that. They were right. born in on Earth. So, like, it's like, how do they adapt to the world around them, to the world that they belong to? Um, and how do they find their place within this greater, like, trans? Transformers like universe that they really n didn't know about before this before this moment. So I think it adds an, a, another element to the Cybertronian war that we've seen for so many years. I love that. Now my final question, everyone, it's have been shocking me <laughs> with their response. Okay. Autobot or Decepticon? Autobot, baby, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, look, I missed the earrings. I missed the earrings. <laughs> Yes. Okay, cool. Well, you know, I love it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Was that shocking? Were you shocked? No, I was okay. not shocked. No, I wasn't, like, but I I'm like, very I impressed. Like Sydney said, Sydney said Decepticon, didn't she? Yes. Yeah, something about I, I knew. We did an interview, and I was like, I was like, Sydney's gonna say Decepticon. Why? Yeah. Yes. No. Everybody's like, you know, I love a good villain. I'm right. like, oh my god. Whoa, wow. <laughs> but I'm impressed with the earrings. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you so much for speaking with us, and I look forward to watching the series. I look forward for you seeing it. Thank you.